Welcome back guys. Today we have a little comparison of lighting when used for paint correction. There's a few new options on the market lately and so here we have two or three that we're going to compare, show you the difference that not all of them are created equal. So first up, I saw Milwaukee came out with something. Here's a Tool Nuts website, $199. They aren't shipping them yet, but I was able to get one through them through their first round that they had acquired. And you can see that it has long runtime, exchangeable battery. It's really intended for a, a color rendering, a high color rendering index, which I'll get more into that later. And on the other end of the spectrum, Harbor Freight, Braun, 455 lumen rechargeable. It doesn't have variable color temperatures or anything like that. It's just one temperature. It's kind of right in the middle and $40 is what that costs. And you can use your, you can use a coupon and get another 20 or 25% off depending on what you can find. And this is the pretty much common Chinese version variant of that. And then it's compared to the ScanGrip Sunmatch 3. I have the one and the two. I'm not gonna buy the three just because I've already got so many of these. $157 here. And the difference between the one and the two, the one is like the Harbor Freight Braun version, just one temperature, two brightness settings. The two, it has a, a cooler temperature option. And then the three gives you five different options. So here I went to my Harbor Freight, you can see picked one up. And so now we have my daily driver here, one of my daily drivers, Honda Accord. This is one of the original scan grip lights, the color match, and it has variable color intensity, brightnesses, color temperatures. They, I believe they have a third version of this, but this was the second version. And I do have the first as well. The, uh, this is what we primarily use in our shop along with the handhelds for spot checking. You can see that it has a warmer color temperature and a cooler color temperature, and then you can vary the intensity, but basically just two different color temperatures there. So paint looks pretty great in fluorescent light, right? There's even, even an LED light there above that you can see. Let's turn on the scan grip. Has quite a few swirls. We haven't done any paint work, any correction, any polishing to this car since 2016. So we're going on about six years since we've done it. Nearly weekly washing. So maybe you have a, just a regular LED shop light. Well, let's see if that shows anything. It does, shows a little bit. May not show absolutely every defect, but if you have a shop light hanging around, maybe that's an option. This is a metallic charcoal paint and it is a little bit difficult to see some of the swirls in it. Any, anything metallic really is gonna hide a lot of the defects. So let's open up our Harbor Freight and Milwaukee and see how they perform. The Milwaukee only comes as a tool, bare tool only, but if you buy it through Toolnut, you get a free battery. And I'm sure that's probably just a November promotion, but hey, free battery is free battery. Here's our scan grip two, and it is missing the red little ring around it. Shouldn't affect anything. Milwaukee feels pretty substantial, very solid feeling has different batteries that you can run with it. So if, you, if runtime's an issue, which runtime's never an issue with any of these because you don't use them constantly. Different brightnesses, different color temperatures. As used in our example, we're probably gonna need more of the warmer temperature. our scan grip well used and abused it has been dropped it has been everything but it is still hanging in there and the scan grips they like they like you to believe that it's a Denmark uh, made in Denmark and the original ones were but these they no longer are they are made in China just like everything else all three of these lights made in China so something to note with the Braun is it only charges through a USB it does not have an actual transformer or anything to charge has a micro USB adapter, or it's a, it's a USB to micro USB is how it charges. It plugs onto the base and then it will charge the light. 
So it does have a pivoting, pivoting base. It has a magnet on the back, that soft spot right there, but not on the bottom. It does only have one color temperature and two modes of brightness, a high and a low. That's it. It does show the battery level on the front, including when it is charging. The Milwaukee five-year warranty has variable amounts of runtime depending on the battery you're using, different color temperatures, different brightnesses, 98 plus color rendering index as opposed to the Harbor Freight's 95. 100 is basically sunlight. So as close to sunlight as you can get, the higher the better. 98 is very good. Really, 95 is very good, too. If you want to compare color rendering index, think of candlelight. That's like 20. It's just it, it lights things up, but it doesn't accurately represent the color. And before we had tools like this, we had the 3M Sun Match. It was a halogen bulb. It had a little coating on it. You dropped it, you blew the bulb and they were very expensive. The bulbs blew a lot anyways, the batteries didn't last very long, and the light itself was like $400, very expensive. So I am gonna use my ScanGrip version one and the version two. Again, we're not gonna compare the version three in this video, but one and two, same color temperature, and then two, you can see it also adds the cooler color temperature, more of a blue hint, more of a blue hue. All right, so on to the actual comparison. Using ScanGrip version one, you can see it doesn't quite show all of the defects. It does show a little, little bit of them. There is a little bit of haziness in the clear coat on this car. It does sit outside a lot, but not all the time. It has about 250,000 miles on it. We are the original owners, bought it brand new in 2013. So on to the second version different brightnesses. You can see it's doing an okay job. And then the blue hue actually shows less. So that, again, you heard me say earlier, with this color and metallic flake, you're gonna want a warmer temperature light to view the defects. Which is why when you look into the reflection of the, of the lighting overhead, you can see that it doesn't show hardly any defects at all. Those guys that have those crazy overhead lighting setups and everything for the Instagram does absolutely nothing for paint correction. So if your detailer only uses that light, find another detailer. On to the Braun. Again, only a high and low, one temperature. It does do a fairly decent job at showing defects. Quite a few swirls in there from six years of washing, nearly weekly. My trips to West Texas, out in the dust and dirt, everything else, it's done a number. It's, it's time to, to refresh on this car. So on to the Milwaukee. You can see it does have a magnet on the very back. It's not rubberized or anything. Onto the bluer hue, now the warmer. That's probably almost too warm. That's, there you go. That color right there is probably perfect. That color temperature, either one of those. Does a good job at showing the defects. Having the different options I think is nice. Is it worth $200? Yeah, maybe. If you're, if you're in a professional environment, possibly. Compared to the scan grip, which is only $50 less, and it includes a battery. So if there wasn't a promotion that included a battery, the Milwaukee would be even less of a deal. But I do like the options that it has for the brightnesses and the color temperatures. But again, ScanGrip has matched that with their version three. So I think any three of these would be great options. Again, you've heard me talk about in my polisher videos that we do use the Milwaukee ecosystem in our shop. So it would be beneficial to us. But would I just run out and go spend $200 on a tool? Mm, I mean, if I, I guess I'm, 
if I'm comparing the scan grip to the Milwaukee, they're both great options, but I think I would still prefer the scan grip. The Milwaukee has the benefit of having replaceable batteries, which is nice. The weight is almost irrelevant, as is the runtime. You're more after the color of the light for showing defects, representing being outside in the sun, so you don't always have to pull things in and out. So overall, all of them are great options. Find what fits your budget and go from there. So I hope this was informative for you guys, maybe learned a little bit, but we use these lights for paint correction and they are very beneficial. And also, yeah, you can see we have the M12 Lithium 6.0. You can have a much larger battery if runtime is an issue. So thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you soon.